Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to G4 Holy Quran Recitation Class for Mutalimat 2023. I'm your today's day teacher and I will be assisted by the teacher assistant and the support teacher throughout the lesson. And support teacher will unmute you if required. So before we start our class, please ensure that you have maintained respect for Holy Quran by having performed wuzu, covering your head and make sure that you are sitting in a quiet room. And please also check that you are logged in with your correct ID and that your camera is switched off and your microphone is off as well. Jazakallah. And if you have any questions, you can always contact us through this email, taqwa at ahmadiyauk.org. So we'll now start off with the assembly. So can I request the support teacher to unmute a student for Talawat? T47. Four four G four seven four four. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Could you start with Tawuz and Tasmiya? Ah yeah. Auzu billahi min al-shaytan nirajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Vaiza kuri al Quranu fasta mi u fasta mi u lahu ansifu va ansitu la allakum turhamun. And when the Quran is recited, give ear to it and keep silence. Then you, then you may be shown mercy. Jazakallah. I just want to mention one thing. So when you recited the Tawus, when you had the word this Lam, so before this word Allah, you have a Kasra, right? On Ba. So yeah. this Lam would be, will not be with text sound, it would be Billahi. There's no need to round this Lam. No, okay. Billahi. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Esti, can I have a student for Hadith, please? G4736. G4736. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin. Kama salaita ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim. Inna ka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin wa la ali Muhammadin kama barikta ala Ibrahim wa la ali Ibrahim inna ka hamidun majid an ibni abbasin radi allahu an huma qala qala rasulullah inna alladhi la say Laysa fi jawfihi shay um min al Quranical baytil gharib gharib. Hazrat Ibn Abbas Razitala and Harvard narrates that the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Indeed, the one who does not have any portion of the Holy Quran inside his heart is like the aban abandoned house. Thirmidhi number 2913. Moving on, we have the Malfuzat. ST, can I have a student, please? G4750, please unmute your mic. G4750, Assalamualaikum. Um, Walaikum Assalam. Um, the sayings of the, the promised Messiah, we do not issue a rule that, that only the translation of the Holy Quran should be read. This invalidates the miracle of the Quran. Whoever says this does not want the Quran to remain in the world. On the contrary, we even say that the prayers that the Prophet asked for uh, they should also be read in Arabic. Others who have their own needs, etc., should uh, be asked only in their own language, except for the pure prayer. 
One person said, Your Majesty, in the Hanafi religion, it is considered sufficient to read only the translation. He said, If it is the religion of Imam Azam, then it is then it is his fault. Jazakallah. Now I will hand over the mic to the TA to conduct today's quiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam. Okay, so let's have the first question. First question is, who took the responsibility to safeguard the Holy Quran? Is it A, Hufiz, B, the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, Allah himself, or all of them? ST, could you please unmute a student? G4719, please unmute your mic. Assalamu alaikum. Wa how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Um, uh, that's C, Allah Himself. Uh, Allah says in Holy Quran, in the Nahnu Nazal Nazal Nazikra, in Allah who lay half his own. Exactly, well done. So it is option C, Allah Himself took the responsibility to safeguard the Holy Quran. Well done, Jazakallah. Now, question two is which of the following scriptures is entitled to be called as Kalamullah in this age and time? Is it A, Quran? B, Torah, C, Injil, or all of them. Yes, T, could you please unmute a student? G4744, please unmute your mic. 744. Uh, Quran. Quran, option A? Yeah. Good, well done. Option A is the correct answer. Quran is the one and only scripture which is entitled to be called as Kalam Allah. Now, question three is what was interval? What was the interval between the first and the second revelation to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Peace be upon him. Is it three days? Is it seven months and three days? One month, or is it two years and six months? G four seven three nine. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. It's D. D. Well done. Good. So it is two years and six months, and that's between the first and second revelation to the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Well done. Now, question four. Then, how many letters should be pronounced with thick and heavy sound, regardless what sign or stroke they bear? Is it five letters, six letters, seven, or eight letters? G4727. G4727, please. The answer is C, seven letters. Good, well done. So we've got seven letters that we need to pronounce with a thick and heavy sound. Well done. Good. Now, the last question then. Which companion of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, is mentioned by his name in the Holy Quran? A. Is it Hazrat Abu Bakr Razi Ta'ala Anhu? Or Hazrat Bilal Razi Ta'ala Anhu? Hazrat Umar Razi Ta'ala Anhu? Or Hazrat Zaid Razi Ta'ala Anhu? G4771. Please unmute your mic. Um, is it Hazrat Zaid Razi Ta'ala Anhu? Brilliant, well done. So it's Hazrat Zaid radiallahu anhu, who is the companion of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, who is mentioned by name in the Holy Quran. Well done and Jazakumullah for answering the quiz and I will hand over to the day teacher now. Jazakumullah. Jazakumullah to you. So we'll now make a start to our today's lesson in which we'll practice all the five rules that we have covered in our first five classes. And that was strokes and marks, ishbaya letters, unna, letters of mud and soft elongation. So today is a recap of all the five rules that we've covered so far. So strokes and marks. We sometimes mispronounce a stroke. If it's a short, short vowel, we sometimes uh, pronounce that as a long vowel and this can lead to different meaning. So we need to be very careful that when we're pronouncing a word, for example, la reba, 
it means no doubt. But when we do not prolong the word la and we say instead lareba, that means show doubt. So it completely changes the meaning. So we need to be very careful when and when not to prolong a, a, a stroke. And second error that we often make in recitation is we either sometimes shorten or prolong the vowel mark of a letter. Again, this so that is why it is important that we learn the correct elongation rule if it's a one second elongation or a two second elongation. But bearing in mind that a letter with any of the stroke fatha, kasra or dhamma must not be prolonged for more than one second. For example, in this word, kutiba. There is no need to prolong any stroke for more than one second. And as we learned that fata kasra dhamma is always one second elongation rule. Kutiba, fafazia, mafalu. Whereas when we have ishbaya letters, vertical fatha, vertical kasra or inverse dhamma, then you need to prolong them for two seconds. Ilafihim. So we are prolonging E and La because it's vertical kasra and vertical fata ishbaya letters. And uh, similarly, when we have alif madhya, wa madhya or ya madhya, again, this will be two second prolongation. And for gunna as well, mi mushadad and nun mushadad again will be two second elongation. And then we practice the rule of gunna. Gunna means a prolonged nasal sound which is emitted from the nose pipe for the duration of about two counts or two seconds. And there are only two letters of gunna which have the quality of nasal sound. One is noon mushadad and second is mi mushadad. So on the right hand side, if you see the example of noon carrying a shadda and mi carrying a shadda as well, so we will pronounce it with nasal sound. In um, like this. Third rule that we looked at was the rule of Ishpaya, which was the vertical kasra, vertical fatha, or inverse tama. And we do not prolong a letter which carries a vertical fatha for more than two counts. Same for vertical kasra and same for inverse tama. So, for example, this word, we will prolong this alif because alif is carrying the vertical fatha, and da and mu will be prolonged for one second. So, adamu. Alimu. So wherever there is ishpaya, a stroke will prolong that for two seconds, rest will be one, one second only. Then the fourth rule that we looked at was the letters of mud, and mud means elongation. And there are three letters of elongation, alif madhya, wow madhya, and ya madhya. And the duration of the length is two counts or two seconds. But we learned that how do we identify a mud letters is when we see a fatha before alif, or a dhamma before vaw sakin, or a kasra before ya sakin. So in this example, this is an example of alif madhya because alif is preceded by the letter, by the fatha stroke. So it's a qala, you're prolonging for two seconds, and it's alif madhya. And in this example, you have vow sakin and precede, vow sakin is preceded by the dhamma stroke. So again, this will be two second prolongation, burika. And third one is an example of ya sakin, which is a madhya letter again. So ya sakin is preceded by a kasra stroke. So it will be hina, two second prolongation. And the last rule that we practiced in our last class was soft elongation. Another means uh, lean letters. So the lean means ease and softness. And if a maftu letter, i.e. a fatha letter, appears before wow sakin or ya sakin, its sound will softly make a half circle for two seconds or two counts. For example, in this word, this is an example of wow madhya, sorry, not madhya, wow uh, lean. Yaumaini, because wow sakin is preceded by the letter by the stroke fatha, so that's why we'll make it soft sound here. Yaumaini, zaujaini, haulaini. 
So it's while sucking and you are sucking in this example. We are prolonging for two seconds. So let's practice of all the five rules that we have just covered so far. So I will request ST to please unmute a student. G4724. G4724. Assalamu alaikum. Could you start with the first line? Yeah. Um, I'll be on your regime, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Lazu Sadidun Khalidun Yominuna Fakaifa Sharaini Raita Jazakala. Could you tell me which rule did you apply on this one, on this Yasakin? Um, um, was it the soft elongation one? Yes, it was soft elongation. And how did you identify that this is a lean letter? And um, because um, the letter before it has a fatha on it. Well done, Jazakallah, because the letter before is carrying a fatha stroke, so we'll make soft sound here rain me and could you tell me um which rule did you apply on this year second um the the like, mud rule i don't know what's yes your madhya yeah. yeah and how did you identify that because um the it has a kasra the letter before it yeah so a uh, your sakin is preceded with by a kasra stroke, that's why it's a madhya letter. And the rule is to prolong for two seconds. Uh, Jazakala. ST can have another student. G4737. Please unmute your mic. G4737. Waalaikumsalam. Could you read the second line, please? Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Musin Qadirun Walaha Yarji'una Bayna Fa'ayna Wayra Jazakallah. And I have a question for you as well. Which rule did you apply on this one? Yeah. Sorry. So, which rule did you apply on this alif? Yeah. You saw this alif. Yeah, uh, yeah. We have to prolong it two seconds. Two seconds, and how do you know to prolong for two seconds? Uh, because it's a kastra. Sorry, a fata. Fata. Yeah. Yes. And so it, alif is preceded it, by a fata stroke, fata right? Stroke, so, so we have to prolong two seconds. It's alif madhya. Yeah. And what about this Yasaki? Yeah, Yamadia. And this proceed. Is Fata. this Yamadia or soft elongation? Yeah, soft elongation. Sorry. Soft elongation, yes. Jazakala. Um, Jazakala for coming on the mic. ST, can I have another student? G4754. G4754. Asalaamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum Asalaam. A'uzubillahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Ta'maluna halimun ardina yaktuluna Uraishin Bidainin Ainun Jazakala. Um, on this word, uh, could you tell me which rule do we apply on this scarf? Scarf sucking. Thick sound. So, this is one of the calcula letters, right? 
So you need to make a jerking sound. Yaqtuluna. Yaqtuluna. Jazakallah. And could you also tell me which rule was applied on this year, Sakin? Uh, is it soft elongation? Yes, it is. Because your Sakin is preceded by Fatha. Right, Fatha, yeah. Jazakallah. ST can have another student. G4769. Please unmute your mic. G4769. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. A'uzu billahi minash shaitan rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Kalakuhu. It's a fa'al. Ka, sorry. Ka, ka al kuhu. Okay, so this word, this letter and this letter, one is fa and one is qaf. One that has one dot is fa and the second is qa. So try oh, again. Yeah. Fa al kuhu. And on this alif, we have a stroke. So fa and alif would be one second prolongation only. Fa al kuhu. Fa al kuhu. Kuhu, because next to ka, it's vow, right? Vow second. Yeah. So you need to prolong for two seconds. So fa this, yes. Fa al kuhu. Fa al kuhu. Fa al kuhu. Yes, Jazakallah. Carry on. Mubinu. Nasiya. Okay, because after the scene, there is no vowel, right? No alif, vowel, no. or ya. So this will be how many seconds? One second. So try again. Nasiya. 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 Yub siruna. And on this bar, we apply the rule of a calcula. Yub. Yub siruna. Valkinakum. And can you tell me which sign or which stroke is on this dal? Fata. Sorry, lam. It's fata. a vert vertical fata, right? Yeah, vertical fata. And that is a letter of Ishbaya. So what is the rule for that? Two seconds prolongation. So try again. Make sure it's two okay. seconds. Valakinakum. Yes, vala, la was fine this time, but on this noon... The noon kunna. Yes. V I'll try again. Valakinakum. You applied vunna, but make sure that you don't prolong this noon this time. Only one second. Okay. Valakinakum. 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 La la tunzuranahu. La tunzuranahu. La tunzuranahu. Again, don't do not prolong this noon for two more than two seconds. Oh, sorry, one second. Rannahu. Rannahu. Fa fa atama hunna. And on this meme and noon, one second only. I mean, do, do not prolong ma. So it'll be fa atama hunna. Yes, that's better. Jazakallah for coming on the mic. You're welcome. And now it's the time for surah practice. So I will hand over to the TA. Jazakallah. Let me just quickly share my screen. Oh, 
All right. Oops, I think I went off. Okay, right. We'll just make it a tiny bit bigger here. All right, so can we have a student, please? P4747. Please unmute your mic, 747. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum how are you? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. How are you too? Alhamdulillah, good too. Jazakallah. All right, so what you like to start, and we are doing today um, from verse 10 to 12. So we'll start from this part. Wallahu, yeah. Start with our wasn't this meal, please. Okay. Ahuzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Uh, sorry, something is blocking the beginning. I don't know. Beginning, um, maybe now. Oh, okay. Now. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Better now. Yeah. Jazakallah. Um. Wallahu lazi arusala yaha fatusi rus fatusi fatusi rusaha. Saha ban fasuk nahu illa baladin baladim mayitin fah jaina bihil ard fa ah jaina bihil ardo ba da mauti mauti ha Kazalika Nushur. Well done, Jazakallah. So let's have a look at a few things that we can improve. Okay. So this ha sound is really coming from your throat. Whereas this ha, for example, can you see this highlighted one? So this yes. Ha, it's just a simple ha. Um, it's just not coming from your throat. It's not really thick. Whereas this okay. one, it will be pronounced like ha, like you're blazing into your mouth in a way, yeah? Um, so this one is well, actually. There you go. So Arsalar Yaha Yaha. Try just Yaha. Yaha. Not ha. Ha. Make it stronger. Ha. Yeah, it's getting better. It's getting better. Try to improve on your ha sound for okay. this ha, not for this one. Yeah. So okay. this is the simple one. And then, um, can you tell me what's this rule? What would you do here? Uh, prolongation, I uh, four to six seconds, yeah. So, roughly three to four seconds, you would do this. Okay. Is, uh, we may um, do that obviously later in the course, but try to elongate it for three to four seconds. Also, we've got which mud. Oh, uh, Yao Mud? No, in this case, it's a simple elongation. We've got Ya preceded by the Kasra. Ya yeah. Mud, which is prolonged for how many seconds itself if it wasn't there, if that Mud wasn't there? Uh, two seconds. Exactly, two seconds. Now, because now at the top, we have the Mud uh, Munfasil, we call it, Mud Munfasil. Because that is at the top, we need to cancel out the uh, yarn mud for two seconds and we take this on board. So we will prolong it for three to four seconds. So it will be Wallahu Lazi. Okay. What? Yeah. Wallahu Lazi. Yeah, better now. Also, what would you do on this lam? Uh, prolong for two seconds as well. Prolong for two seconds. Also, pronounce this lam because it's lam al jalala. It's preceded by a fatah. 
So we will um, pronounce it with a round mouth, so with a round sound. Wallahu. Wallahu. Brilliant. Very good. Now, tell me on the next row, what, what do you do with this lamb? What does it carry at the top? Um, two counts as well. Exactly. Why is it two counts? Uh, because of the inverted alif. Not the inverted alif, it's the inverted fata. Oh, sorry, fata. Sorry. Okay, fine, yeah. So, ila, yeah. Try yeah. to read that one as well. Ila. Good, well done. Okay, so try not to pause between the verses. If you do, you did start from, yeah, you did start from fa akhiyena. Yes. That is good. But when you try to stop here, so for example, try to go back to where the beginning will be, where the context would make sense for the recitation, yeah? Okay. I think, have a go again, try to recite it again with the corrected versions. I'll keep the highlighted bits here so you can, um, you know where you need to make your corrections, all right? Have a go okay. again. In... Ila baladim may baladim may eating. Just stopping you there. The beginning of the verse is here. Wallahu lazi. At the beginning. Wallahu lazi arusala riyaha. Ah, sorry. Um, well done. No, that's good. Carry on. Ak fatusiru suha su. Sorry, Fatusi Rusuha. Oh, yeah. oh, sorry, Sahaban Fasuk Nahu Ila Baladim Mayitin Fah Fah Yaina Bihil Arido Bada Motiha. Good, that's fine. Obviously, you can practice with, I hope you don't make notes of that. Also, here we've got Qalqala sound on the graph. We haven't covered that yet in the classes. We will inshallah do that next week. But it will be pronounced with a jerking sound. So it will be Fasuq Yeah? Fasuq. Fasuq. Exactly. That's really good. Well done. Okay. But we'll cover that inshallah next week as well. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, can I ask the support teacher to unmute another student now, please? Yes, sir. Can I may I request, may I request G four seven six seven, please unmute your mic. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Good, good. So let's have a look. You are carrying on with the next verse, which is here. Yeah. So I will scroll down once you come to. Kind of the ending here. Have a go. Start with that was and this meal. Audu Bila Hina Shaito no Raji Bismillahu Rahmanu Rahim Mantana Yuri Dul Ida Tafalilla Falilla Hil Ida Tukta me. Elaihi yas adul ka yas adul kali kali mutaibu wal amalu amalu salihu yau fa yau fa guha yau fa guhu walla walla Making a push, Shadid. Okay, well done. 
which is now going to let's have a look at a few spots that we can still improve here. Right, on this one, if you are pausing, it was here, and on the next part as well, there, if you're pausing, you're not pronouncing the Tanveen, so you're just uh, pausing with, here, that's a different pausing rule, however, so we'll talk about this one first. Jami, uh, yeah, so you will convert that Tanveen into a vertical fata, um, and it will be prolonged for two seconds at the ending, if, in case of pausing. Whereas with the pause on this part here, it will just cancel out because we haven't got the alif next to it. So it's just um, empty space after the tanween and you will just pause with, so the tanween kind of converts into a sukoon. So it will be shadid. Okay. Yeah. So we will not pronounce the tanween. Right, um, so that said, let's have a look at this letter. What is this letter? We had that in the quiz earlier. It's part of the, is sad. Yeah, so how do we pronounce it? With thick or thin? Clearly. With a thick sound or thin sound? Uh, thick sound. Thick, exactly. So let's try this one. Walamalu, and then Walamalu Salihu. Walamalu Salihu. Not who, we have that earlier as well. It's who, try out to make it a bit stronger. I may just exaggerate it, so I want you to try it even stronger. I'm just exaggerating here now, li who. So I want it to, well, I want you to kind of try and express that even more, right? So try this one, li who. Li who. That's it, well done. Okay, what's this sound? Ain, it's coming from your throat. Try this one again. Fa'uha. And then if we're pausing. Fa'uha. Fa'uha, yeah. Fa'uha. Good. This one you pronounced as a sheen. It might be because of the font here, but it's just a shadda. It's not a sheen. It's a seen with a shadda at the top. Yeah? So it will be... وَالَّذِينَ يَمْقُرُونَ السَّيِّئَاتِ نَسَّيِّئَاتِ Try this one again from La. وَالَّذِينَ يَمْقُرُونَ السَّيِّئَاتِ Good, well done. Okay, I've talked about the pausing here. Now let's talk about this big mud at the top. What do you do with this one? Uh, pull up prolong it for three to four counts. Not this one. Um, so this is the different one. We call this one Madde Muttasil, whereas the above one, the one that we had earlier, this one here, this is called Madde Munfasil. You see the structure of both of them, they're different. Mm. Yeah, this one's different, this one's a bit thin, this one's a bit thick. Also, this one just um, hovers around a separate word. Yeah, so this one here, is a uh, well it's prolonged for about five counts it's basically when alif is followed by a hamza in the same word whereas the other one is the different word you know it's separate we will we'll cover this obviously i don't want to cover this now it's a separate rule but for now just make sure that you pro prolong the madde munfasil for about three seconds and the madde muttasil which is the thicker one um which was over one word compared to the other one this is more like five seconds okay? okay right okay that is good can you try it again because you were stopping kind of in the middle of the uh, uh, verses i know these verses are quite long but have a go have a go to recite this part again just this part the underlying part in one word Good, well done. Okay, so I hope you did make notes on what you can still improve, and we will take it from there the next time, inshallah. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Okay. Now, SD, can we have another student, please? May I ask G4757? 757. 757. Please unmute your mic. G4757. 
Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. All right, so we've already recited up to verse 11. Can you now start reciting from this part all the way up to, I think we should have split that one. Let's split this, yeah, because it's a really huge one and we want to give everyone a chance to recite. Recite up to here. Okay. Have a go. Okay. Start with that within this one, yeah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والله خلقكم من تراب ثم من نطفة ثم من نطفة ثم جعلكم أزواجا. Brilliant, well done, جزاك الله. So you tell me now about what the rule was that you applied on this part. That's a fatha ishbaya. Yeah, so what to do during the recitation here then? It's a short term um, elongation, um, stress to second sound. Yes, that as well. And because the Lam or Jalala, because the Lam is in Allah, it's the Allah's uh, attribute, the name of Allah, we, um, well, the name is followed by a Fatah. And when that is the case, we pronounce it with a full mouth. Yeah, Wallahu. Okay. Yeah, so that is good. And then you did something. Um, hold on, let me just uh, check where it was. Yeah, what did you do on this letter? It was correct, but what did you do? I I haven't learned to that level. I can Sorry? just read it. Yeah. I can just read it very well, but I haven't I haven't um, learned that rule. I see. Okay, now you recited really well, actually. So yes, that is the qalqala that you did. You did a bit of a jerky sound here. Well done. Really good. So it was from minot. Yeah, minot fatin. That was really good. Well done. Okay, so your recitation was good. Let's have a look at another student now, please. ST, Assalamualaikum. Can we have another student? G4770, please unmute your mic. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Okay, so we were reciting up to here. Can you start from this point all the way up and you can um, close off with the verse 12 here then? Behind you. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما تحمل من أنسى ولا تزع إلا بعلمي فَمَا يُعَمَّرُ مِنْ مُعَمَّرٍ وَلَا يُنْقَثُ يُنْقَثُ مِنْ عُمُرِهِ إِلَّا فِي كِتَابٍ إِنَّ ذَلِكَ عَلَى اللَّهِ يَثِيرٍ well done, Jazak. So let's have a look. How do you pronounce this ha? It's vertical fata. No, no. So it's just a pronunciation of the ha sound for now. But yeah. this is not a vertical fata. This is a sakoon because you pronounced it as mama dahmilu. Yeah, you did pronounce it well. But I'm just after the ha sound. So it's compared to, for example, this ha. It's different. How is it different? Can you tell me? Um, because it has constant. Yeah, 
Yeah, so, well, it doesn't really matter with the sakun at the top, but the pronunciation that with this ha is basically coming from the throat, whereas this one isn't, yeah? That's the difference between these two ha's. Um, also, can you tell me what the rule will be on um, the stroke on this letter? Uh, vertical fatting. Good, so how many seconds? Uh, two seconds. Good, well done. And you did that one. Well done. And can you tell me what you did on when you were here? It's Alif Madda. Well done. Why is it Alif Madda? How do you know that is Alif Madda? Because it's uh, the Alif, uh, one mother is on Mean. The mother is not on Mean, it's the stroke, which is the Fata. So Alif mm -hmm. is preceded by the Fata. Yeah, okay, okay. and that's how you know that you have to prolong it for two seconds. Good, well done. Um, can you tell me what happened on here when you were reciting? You did prolong it, but why did you prolong it? Uh, it's vertical dhamma here. Yeah. Vertical dhamma? Vertical dhamma? Are you talking about this little bit here at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. No, you were actually prolonging it for more than two seconds. And because that was the case here, look at this one. We have the Madhya Munfasil, which is prolonged for around three seconds. So once we have something at the top that will place the rule at the bottom, and at the bottom we have the um, rule of two seconds, vertical kasra, yes. But this one cancels out as soon as you have another rule at the top hovering around, yeah? So here in this case, we have the Madde Munfasil. We will obviously um, cover this one in the next classes, inshallah. But this will be prolonged for around three seconds. Good. Well done. Thank you. Okay, Jazakallah. And I think we've got a little bit of more time now. Maybe we can have another student. Uh, may I request G4739, please unmute your mic. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Good, thank you. Alhamdulillah, that's good. So let's have a look again. We are back on verse 10. Would you like to recite it? The whole verse? Have a go. Okay. <laughs> Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim <clears throat> Wallahu allazi arsala ri arsala riya arsala riya baladim Baladim Mahitim Fahayna Bihil Aldamba Bada Mautiha Kazali Kanushur. Well done, Jasakala. So we can improve on a few things. Again, uh, what do you do with the Lamu Jalala if it's uh, preceded by a fata? Um, uh, we need to take um, uh, yeah. Yeah. Kicks out. Exactly. Wallah, exactly. Yeah, well done. Okay, so do that one as well. You know what to do, but you haven't done it. But with practice, it will come, inshallah. Again, with the ha sounds, I think some of us, we just need to practice. It will come with practice, to be honest, believe me. So once you practice the different sounds of ha, and simple ha, it will come. Just make sure that whenever this one comes up in the recitation, you pronounce it from your thought. Um, and then um, there was another thing. Can you tell me how would you pronounce this part here? Um, uh, the so it's good. Uh, 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 I think uh, I, I, I need to prolong it uh, from uh, uh, 
two, two seconds. Two seconds, exactly. Why is it two seconds? Because it carries a, 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 a vertical fatah. Brilliant. Well done. Good. Okay. So just practice um, when reciting to recite the verse. Start uh, well. Try not to stop in the middle of them. But if you're doing that, that's absolutely fine. Uh, okay. But just start over again where the meaning would make sense because you cannot split up words even when you're talking in any other language. It wouldn't make sense when you start in the middle of another word and then carry on, yeah? Good. Well done. Jazakallah. And Jazakallah to um, all students for reciting. I'll hand it over back to the day teacher now. Jazakallah. Jazakallah to you. Let me share my screen. So I hope everyone is finding this surah practice beneficial and this is helping you to improve your recitation. So let's quickly see what we covered today. So we looked at the five rules, strokes and marks, which is one second elongation and a two second elongation, but we need to just identify when it's one second, when it's a short stroke and two second will be when it's a shvaya letter or a vowel. So Secondly, we went, talked about Ishbaya rule, so vertical fatra, vertical kasra, and inverse dama, so prolonging for two seconds. Thirdly, we looked at uh, the rule of Ghurna, Noon and Mima Shraddat, so which is a sustained nasal sound for two seconds. And we also looked at the letters of Mud, Alif Madhya, Waw Madhya, and Ya Madhya. So when it's Alif preceded by a fatha letter, or vowel preceded by dhamma or ya preceded by kasra, that is a letter of mud and we prolong it for two seconds. And lastly, we looked at soft elongation, which is a lean letter as well, which means ease or soft. We make a half circle for about two seconds. So before ya sakin or vowel sakin, if it's preceded by fatha, then it's a lean letter. So let's move on to our concluding prayer. Because we are short of time, so I will read this out. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma inni abduk, wa binu abduk, wa binu amatik, nasiyati biyadik, ma dun fiya hukmuk, adlun fiya qadauk. Asaluka bi kullis min huwa lak Sammayta bihi nafsak Aw anzaltahu fi kitabik Aw allamtahu ahadam min khalqik Aw istatharta bihi fi ilmil ghaybi indak أن تجعل القرآن ربيع قلبي ونور صدري وجلاء حزني وذهاب حمي O oh Allah, I am your servant, the son of your servant and the son of your maid servant. My forehead is in your hand. Your command concerning me prevails. And your decision concerning me is just. I call upon you by every one of the beautiful names with which you have described yourself or with, or with which you have revealed in your book or you have taught to any of your creatures or which you have chosen to keep in the knowledge of the unseen with you to make the Quran the delight of my soul, the light of my heart and the source to remove my grief and sadness and dispel my anxiety and fear. So Jazakallah, inshallah, see you all in the next class. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.